Welcome back, Timber Rattlers fans, to this edition of Taxi Squad Talk, brought to you by SureDry. And joining us is 2016 and 2017 Wisconsin Timber Rattlers, Trey Shupak. And Trey, um, my first question to you as you, we welcome you to this edition of Taxi Squad Talk is, why did you let us say your name is Supak for two years when it was actually Shupak? Um, just because I feel like everybody messes it up, so I just let it, everybody say it how they want to, and I just respond whatever they say you know um but yeah it's shoe pock like shoe like the shoe you wear on your foot and then pock like two pock shoe pock same thing that that came up during spring training i think or, or late last year we had lane grindle on for our, our virtual welcome home banquet and he just kind of was talking with jeff levering he's like going because they were talking about how well you were doing at, at double a and and uh jeff or and uh, and lane came back from a visit to biloxi i guess and said I think the name is Shupak. So, I mean, it, at least the major league guys are getting it right, right? Yeah, so everybody asks now, uh, especially at the upper level, it's just kind of how do you say it, how do you pronounce it, because they want to pronounce it or, pr or pronounce it right and everything like that. So, no, I mean, everybody's getting it right, and everybody's say, saying the same thing you said. Why did you let us say it wrong for so many years? So <laughs> it is what it is, though. Well, I'll let you know you're not the first that has let us say it wrong at this level, and, and you probably won't be the last. I but, doubt it. <laughs> uh, it. Again, getting back to last year in, in Biloxi for you at AA, uh, that's where you started kind of generating a lot more interest and notice from the major league guys and, and a lot of the top prospect watchers. Um, what what clicked for you last year in AA? Um, I think I just really kind of early in the year, I just found myself and found what I did well. Um, and that was just control the strike zone, get ahead early, and just get weak contact early in counts. Um, and I, I really used that to my uh, benefit. I mean, I got deep into games, low pitch counts, and just really you know, let, let my team be in a spot to win every every day, or almost every time I was out. And um, I factored that a lot of that in, just getting ahead early, um, weak contact, and getting, I mean, just getting ahead of it. And that... Uh, got a bit of a reward with a with a promotion to AAA in San Antonio last year, and we were talking a little bit before the interview. That's not too far away from your hometown of yeah. Lagrange, and your uh, AAA debut in San Antonio was something really special for you. Oh yeah, it was it was something else. I don't know if I've ever really had a feeling like that before, like walking to the mound. I just so San Antonio is an hour thirty uh, minutes from my hometown of Lagrange, um, and so I had probably 50, 60, 70 people that I knew there, probably 35, 40 family members. So when I ran out to the mound the first time, everybody was screaming and everything. It was it was just loud. It was awesome. Um, and I threw well that night, too. So it was, it was, a, it was a top it all off, though. So the, the off season comes around and then spring training, you get the invite to, to Major League Camp, and you get to pitch in some Major League games this spring training. How did that uh, whole experience go for you this past spring before all this other stuff went down? Um, I think being in Billy Camp the year before really helped kind of calm some of those nerves and kind of under, understand and uh, know what to expect when you're up there. You know what I mean? Um, like being around some of the guys, being around some of the bigger names, and, you know, if you're, you're one of them, you're with them, you're playing with them. Um, don't get, like, intimidated or anything like that. I mean, you're part of that You're part of that squad at the time. So, I mean, go out there, do what you do. Um, but I think uh, I think it's all huge learning. You know what I mean? You're learning new hitters. You're hitting – you're facing – big league hitters and everything like that um so i think it's a it's a great it's a great first step to sh or see where your stuff uh competes and how it works uh early in the spring against those good hitters so everything gets shut down um in march um you go home uh before getting called here to to appleton for the taxi squad how did you stay in shape or what did you do uh, you'd mentioned before that you were basically hadn't been home during the summer in like six years so got to reacquaint yourself there but how do you go about uh, just spending the time and, and staying ready so uh i actually stayed in arizona till like the first of april because just with everything going on didn't really have any answers and nobody really knew anything at the time and i had paid for a lease till the end of march and so i was going to stay there and just see if anything came out um so then after that i drove back to about hometown um and i hung out with my parents and lived with my parents for a couple weeks um and so my hometown's uh, all my a lot of my family's there. So my cousin's there. We went fishing on the river. Um, I was throwing to our high school catcher, uh, just trying to stay ready, trying to do whatever because everything was closed down. Just trying to stay in shape, stay ready because you never knew what like what was going to happen, what was going to come up, and when when everything was going to start back up again. Um, and then around mid May, end of May, stuff kind of started opening up again, and um, so I was able to kind of go into workout four times a week and really start you know getting ready for this and getting ready for um a push for a bit more big league season so yeah what's this whole experience been like for you coming back to appleton and, and being part of this alternate training site uh, it's awesome i think it's uh always nice to have your name included in something like this uh there's not it's 60 people you know and you're one of them um so i think you come here 
uh, and, you, and you do do everything you can to just try and help the team out. You try and better yourself. You try and get ready. You try and develop yourself uh, just in case or just when they need somebody. Or the Billy team needs somebody. And um, that's ultimately the goal here, just trying to stay ready, trying to get better, and ultimately um, helping the Billy team out. One of the uh, other players here is Keon Broxton, and you're kind of tied to him as coming over from Pittsburgh in a trade a couple of years ago. It, it is kind of neat to have uh, the two of you still together in the system. I know Keon went away for a while, but now he's back, and both of you are here uh, trying to get back to the big leagues, you, yourself trying to get to the big leagues, and Keon trying to get to the big leagues for the Brewers. No, yeah, uh, Keon's great. Um, when I was with the Pirates, I was only there for a year and a half, and he was an upper-level guy, so I, I didn't really know Keon well. Um, I knew the name because he was just a great athlete, great player. I just saw his numbers in, in the stat card every night, you know. Um, and then being involved with the trade with him, I never really saw him because I was still in the lower levels. But now, finally, uh, being kind of on that big league verge level, um, being around him, being able to play with him, seeing how athletic he is, how strong he is, how fast he is. Um, he's just a great player, he's, he's, and he's a great guy to be around. He's so fun. You were uh, a timber rattler for parts of two seasons. Uh, Trey, what uh, what are some memories uh, that you have um, of being here in, in Appleton? Oh, man. Uh, Milwaukee Burger Company is a big one. That place is delicious. <laughs> we went back there the other night uh, for the first time and got a burger, and it was delicious. But I think the baseball memories um, – I always tell people this, this is one of my favorite places to play just because the fans were so good. Um, I mean, every weekend you're selling out the stadium, it's loud, it's packed. I mean, it's just, it's what it's what you want when you're playing and you're pitching everything. You want the crowd to get into it, the crowd to, you know, really pump you up, fire you up. Um, that and the weather. The weather's beautiful. Um, so I, I really enjoyed my time in Appleton um, in, in baseball. I think in, I think, yeah, 16, we made the playoffs. Uh, played Cedar Rapids, didn't go so well, but still first time ever experienced in the playoffs in professional baseball. That was a cool moment as well. Um, I did this with Tyrone Taylor, and we ran through all of his likes and dislikes from his player profile, but uh, we're just going to do one with you, okay? So do it. The, your favorite pregame meal back in 2017 was barbecue. Is that still the case now? Oh, man. See, I'm, this is where a little bit of superstition comes in with me. Um, so when I, when I got moved to Carolina from here, um, there's a Jersey Mike's right across from my house, or right across from the apartment I was living, and – I ate it the first time but my, before my first start in Carolina. It went well, so I just ate it before every start in Carolina. And it, it continued to work, continued to work. Um, Biloxi, I kind of found a meal that I liked, and I tried I tried Whataburger. Whataburger's a great meal. Love it to death. But I tried it twice now pitching, and then I didn't get out of the second inning both times. So I, went, <laughs> I can't eat it anymore before, pre, before the game. Um, I, it just depends. I mean, I love barbecue. It's, it, it will always be one of my favorite meals, but it kind of just depends on – uh, what I'm feeling that day and what's working, I guess, to be honest. <laughs> All right. That sounds great. Trey, hey, thanks for your time today, and thanks for joining us on Taxi, uh, Taxi Squad Talk today. Chris, I appreciate it a bunch. Thank you all very much.